Hello, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. I'm going to show you how to connect the Revolt Race Flight Revolt to the Free Sky R XSR. Now this is a very small telemetry receiver. It works great, but Free Sky tries to mess us up. They included this cable. This let's see, let me see, let me get this thing right here. This cable with it, and it's it's a booby trap. This is a nice little three prong cable, and you think, oh wow, this is excellent, it's gonna go right in there. But, it's very misleading, because the first three wires are ground, five volts, S port, S port, not S bus, out. So, you actually can't really use this cable. However, this cable works great for uh, connecting to your Tyrannus, the flash disk, and I'll show you that in a separate video. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this big harness, wire harness, it's got all the wires, and the wires we're going to use are the first four, ground, 5 volt, S port, that's your telemetry, and S bus out. S bus in is something different, we're not going to use that. So what I do is... Luckily, they did a good job of color coding the wires. Ground 5 volt S bus, which is yellow, as is, is ports yellow, and then green is the wire we're going to need. All right, so the white wire we're not going to use. So I take an X-Acto knife, and I just pry underneath that little plastic tab, pull it up a little bit, and then I just pull the white wire right out. There we go. Oops, almost got it. Pry it up and it pulls right out. Now, because we're not going to use this one, here's our cable. This is going to go in the R XSR with the black on top. Like that. Okay. So the black is ground. We've already established that. So the ground wire goes on the revolt right here. Ground. Yay, we're winners. Okay, so ground goes here. Then the next one up is your red wire. That's your five volts. Now that's gonna go to VCC. Now since that's going to VCC, you want a jumper VCC and five volts right here. So put a little solder bridge there. And then skip the yellow wire and go to the green wire. The green wire goes to TX1. Because the green wire is your S bus out. It's out. To TX1. Okay, and since we're using TX1, you want to do invert and TX1 on the revolt. You want a little bridge the middle solder pad to the inverse one, which is the top. Okay, now to get your telemetry to work, you need the yellow wire, which is the third one. This is your S port, and S port is going to go into RX3, which is up here. Right here is RX3. Now you don't have to jump or anything, but it goes to RX3. Now when you run your wizard, remember it's RX3. If you use the wiring diagram from the race flight build manual, it's very helpful, and it's got you know it's got that label. S -po smart port goes there. Now there is a restriction on race flight that you can't flash in DFU mode, which means like a full chip erase with the receiver powered and S port connected. So you can disc unsolder this wire and then it won't prevent that from happening. Or you can unplug your receiver like this and now it's not going to happen. The black top wire is ground, 5 volts. You can put those right here, ground 5 volts. Or up here, ground BEC. The yellow wire is your S port or telemetry. It's going in RX3. And then your green wire goes into TX1. And remember, jumpers here on VCC to five volts. And then here, TX1 to invert, bridge those two. And that's all you need to do to get the RXSR installed on a race flight board.